much for the call. Uh, Shane in Germany, Deutschland. Shane, you're on the air. Hi, yeah. Um, I'm a member of uh, one of the two battalions of Apaches in uh, Germany right now. And uh, I just want to tell you that uh, we're wide awake. I got about 20 guys we're working on um, trying to understand what kind of legal recourse we have if we're asked to follow illegal orders. And, um, you know, I, I, I order a lot of stuff from you guys. I've got, uh, the, the, you know, the citizen's rule book, but we don't have a, a soldier's rule book. And a lot of us are ignorant or working hard. Well, you know, until the we 50s, you were given a rule book that said you weren't to follow illegal orders. It, look, you've got to make your own decision. Impeachment's been introduced against Obama for trying to launch these wars without Congress. It is illegal. I've had Colonel Schaefer on to say it is treason and it is illegal. He's still in the military, so he's risking himself. You notice they ignored that. There comes a time where you just can't shut up anymore. And I'm, if you do it, I do it in mass. I do it politely. I would, re, I would use the legislation, HRES 107. To point out it's a high crime and misdemeanor. Your commander in chief says he, he takes orders from the UN, not Congress, soldier. If you're an officer who commissioned you, the Congress, who's your boss, the UN mm -hmm. or Congress? My boss is the American people. That's right. And who do they elect? The Congress. That's right. The no, Congress so has the war power. Entity that we have. That's uh, right. Yeah, yeah. So I don't even I don't even agree with the war powers. But my uh, my heart is elevated higher than it's ever been before. Just talking to right now on this program, and I'm telling you right now, we've got probably 25 percent of this Apache battalion is former Rangers and ground pounders, and these guys aren't going to do this. Well, let me ask you the sense of them. Why are they really concerned? Why are they waking up? You know, I try to figure that out. I was marginalized for probably two and a half years when I got back from my first deployment in Iraq. <clears throat> I felt like I was part of the German Luftwaffe over Spain, practicing the war machine, trying to find, you know. I'll tell you what, Greg Palace is coming up. Uh, sir, Greg Palace is coming up, and I want to have you finish on the other side before we go to Greg, okay? Roger that. Okay, Roger that. Don't, but don't hang in up. Germany uh, is a Apache driver, Apache helicopter pilot. Uh, my uncle was a helicopter pilot in Vietnam. Our, 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 our military are such great people. But you're saying that a large portion of the people in your group are awake. Look, it was it was Admiral Fox Fallon, the head of CENTCOM, five years ago that said no to an Iran attack. Admiral Mullen, the last Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman, said no. Uh, the last head of the Mossad had to quit saying don't attack Iran. It's, it's crazy for Israel and everybody else. So, you know, you, you ask, how do you say no? I would quietly circulate to everybody that impeachment's begun against Obama that I mean have you seen the video where he says that the that the, that the president now takes orders from the UN and Congress is not involved if you're a new listener folks I've played it over and over again he actually they actually are saying the UN runs America I mean there's no brainer here I mean if they said the Russians if, if they said the president now takes orders from the Russians would you I mean what would you do You've got about less than what is it, about a third of a percent of the entire population of the United States is in the active duty military you know, that was about pre-World War II, after we had yes. Pearl Harbor, we went to about 10% of, of the whole entire population. I'm looking at possibly the U.S. military active duty being rendered irrelevant. Whatever's going to happen, whatever we're about to get involved in, it, it, everybody's spidey sense is up. But people are ignorant. They don't have what, in, in their gray matter, they don't have what they need. You look at G. Edward Griffin's interview with the KGB Resmanoff, you know, it explains you know, how they demoralize the United States through the education system. People don't have, they're not armed intellectually with what they need. That's all I'm saying. Now, exactly, but you're asking me, what do you do to do. an unlawful order? You know, as a soldier, you don't take orders from the UN, especially when they say Congress doesn't count. I mean, have you heard that audio from the Senate? I heard it all, and I'll tell you what, if that's what goes down, there's nothing left. I just hope listeners realize, I've already aired it a bunch, I mean, it's online, where, where the, the, the Secretary of Defense says, we take orders from the UN, Congress, butt out. I mean, it's unbelievable. I'm saying this every day. I am saying this every single day at work. Are people, and you say people are starting to get it. People get it, and I'm not alone. I'm just saying that... Uh, I think um, you guys should say, if there's I not a resolution... That, if there's race, not, we're in a race... For rendering whether, whether or not it's the unlawful federal powers that have been usurped irrelevant, rendering that irrelevant, or we're being rendered irrelevant as we partake in this Roman empirical 
you know, take over the United States uh, of, of the world, and we're being spread to the wind. So it's going to be we're rendered to develop. Whatever event is going to happen, if we're going to prevent it, it's it's definitely feels like it's soon. Well, I agree with you, and God bless you, Shane. Please try to call me back tomorrow whenever you can, but do whatever you think's best. But I would just point out, Obama's being impeached. He says the U.N. is your boss. If that isn't treason, I don't know what is, and I'd bring it up to your officers and let that sense go up through the chain of command. God bless you.